of our Weather Wonders virtual learning course. It's made possible by TV Friends of the Environment, and thanks to them and their generous contribution, we can learn about all the different fun weather topics that we've been talking about these last couple weeks, including today's topic, which is dramatic play, and how to use dramatic play as sort of like a teaching tool to help your child learn about the weather. So dramatic play has lots of different benefits, including working on language skills, working on good socializing, as well as becoming um, more confident, and really, again, being creative as they do your dramatic play. It also just makes it really fun when you go to learn about topics that might be otherwise not quite as interesting right off the bat. So for today, we're going to learn about three different ways to use dramatic play to help learn about the weather. So let's get started. Yay! So for our first way to use dramatic play to help learn about the weather, you're going to play a game of weather-like charades with your little one. So this can be done um, in a couple different variations, but the fun part is you're playing with them, so it's always fun to play together. But also this is like a full body way to get your child moving and thinking about weather, so no sitting and just having to stay in one spot. So all you gotta do for this one is take turns with your little one mask. Either two ways of doing it. One, you can give them a type of weather that you want them to act out. For example, if you say, show me your tornado. Maybe they're gonna go into a funnel cake and spin around. And that's their tornado. Or maybe, and this is my preferred way, you can ask your little one to act out a type of weather and then you have to guess. And children like this because they feel like they're being, you know, they're really making you work hard for it. It's a lot of fun and it is. So maybe they're gonna act out something like, and that's their rain, or who knows what kind of creative um, set of trades they're gonna come up with that's half fun. But just again, getting up and getting moving and really introducing some of those elements of dramatic play to have a lot of fun showing you what they remember about different types of weather. For our second type of dramatic play when it comes to talking about the weather, another idea that you can do is you can take a weather related book, such as this one. This one's for um, children who are a little bit older, has lots of text, but there's so many different great weather books. Um, so pick a weather book that you like, that you're comfortable with, read it with your little one, and then you can ask them some questions about it to see what parts of it they understood, maybe what questions they have, what they remember. And for a fun little uh, addition, you can add a puppet. And some of you are probably thinking <laughs> puppets are a little old school, but puppets are actually a great way to have fun and really let your child be creative um, because if they're a little bit shy, doesn't feel like they're on the spot, feels like they're puppets on the spot. So maybe their puppet cat wants to know, if we were in that book, would I want to wear my sun hat? Or would I want to bring my umbrella? <laughs> and you can even make your own puppets to have a lot of fun, make it a day's activity. But puppets are actually a great way to try and talk about the weather and get them thinking of it in just different ways and changing your routine. For our last type of dramatic play, try and get either it can be a huge cardboard box here at Connections. We're all repaired with our little uh, makeshift shop. But it can be anything from a table to a cardboard box, whatever you have at home. And you're going to make yourself a little weather station to have fun with with your children. So if you've had the chance to watch the weather or, you know, the weather forecast, you can see the meteorologist up on the screen. Usually they're wearing something very fancy and they tell you all about the weather. So for your little one, a great thing to do after you've learned about weather for a couple of weeks is let them be the meteorologist and they can tell you about the weather. So if they wanted to dress up, I didn't dress up today obviously, but if they wanted to dress up, they could tell you, you know, so this is what the weather's gonna look like today. It's gonna be this temperature, that temperature, really stormy, really humid. They can be as dramatic as they want. If you want, you can add props or costumes. It's up to you, but it's a great way for them to show off their weather knowledge, as well as for them to have a chance to feel like they're putting on a show, and it's a great feeling. It's lots of fun. And for that one step further, if you wanted to, 
could always videotape them doing this and maybe send it to some grandparents or some family friends and really get to show them off in their role as a meteorologist and just have fun with it. So those are three different types of dramatic play about the weather. You can play weather charades, you can do, you know, little weather puppet show with a little friend to help you read about your weather book, or you can have your own weather station and letting your little one be a meteorologist. It's a great way to, again, really work on that language skill, be very familiar with, uh, familiar with some of these words that might seem a little vague at the start, but the more you use them, um, the more your child will become familiar with their weather terms. Just making it fun, making it interesting. Everyone likes to learn about something that's fun, so this is a great way for your little one to show off their weather knowledge in a fun um, and different way. Thank you for um, joining us for our Weather Wonders this week. A reminder that every week we do a raffle bag for a Weather Wonders prize bag, again made possible by a TV Friends of the Environment. And it's going to include something like great weather books. If you don't have one, that's one way to get one. As well as fun related weather resources. Um, so all you have to do is send us either um, a short email or a picture or just a little story about a weather related adventure or activity that you and your little ones are doing at home. Um, and your name will be entered into a draw for one of those two Weather Wonder prize bags um, that we do every week. So hopefully you give that a try and we'd love to hear what kind of weather related activities you're doing. So thank you for joining us and thank you for connecting with us. We'll see you next week for another Weather Wonders activity.